Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks and all cards ship as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name, we did that little team random little filler to fill this break up. So thanks to the people who took the risk on that. Sean ended up with Last Bot Mojo with the Marlins. Now, in the previous video, um, my apologies to uh, Mark Dominguez. Mark, you probably saw the team random video and expected your name to be here. There was a mistake. Sean actually bought that spot outright, and when Nick was building that filler, accidentally included the Marlins. So you should already have the cost of the Marlins as break credit already in your email. So look out for that. Sorry about that, but Sean did get that team first. All right, and big thanks to everyone else right here too. All right, so with that being said, here is the fresh case of Bowman Chrome Baseball. Uh, you know, when we post breaks, Sean F., it, it varies. Sometimes they're early in the morning, sometimes they're late at night. It's not really a set time. So it's just whenever whenever it happens, it happens. I think way back when we used to yeah just got an F five of the website all the time. We we used to. I think we used to have, we experimented with set times, but very quickly, a lot of a lot of feedback about that's unfair to the people in these time zones. We're working here, you know. I don't have time to do to get to be on the site there. Blah 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 blah. So then we just said, all right, we're just gonna post it whenever, and you just have to be lucky. Could be could be convenient for you. Could be inconvenient for you. But yeah, my colleague Nick posts all of these breaks, so it's just kind of at his whim. Although, I don't know, I guess sometimes there could be a pattern, but I mean, I suppose that pattern can change at any time too. But usually for big releases like this, we will have like pre-orders loaded up a couple days beforehand, at least. Uh, out of 299, Jose Altuve. That'll be for Steven and the Astros. And Dylan Dodd. It's for Michael P. and the Braves. Won that team in the filler. <laughs> right, yeah. Breaks are posted. Yeah, breaks are posted whenever Nick gets out of the pool on the private jet. Got to work your way past all the ladies. There's Seiya Suzuki, purple chrome to 250 for the Cubs. That'll be for EA. And I've been told that this is a one per case. Marcelo Meyer. And of the few cases I've done, I've only seen this one per case. This is going to be for Mark and the Red Sox. There you go, Mark. Won that team in the filler. There's a warming of Bernabelle. The shimmer's not numbered, in case you're wondering. Unless they're unless they have a color to it, but the color shimmers are. And then we got Christian Franklin. 
53 out of 100. It will be for EA and the Cubs, that atomic refractor. There's Ronald's brother, Luis Angel Acuna, 154 out of 299 for Michael P. and the Rangers. It's Joey Bart, 56 out of 150. Giants, that'll be for Steve Birch. Next box. Yeah, and well, and Sean, Cubs are also a pretty popular team. A lot of people chase the Cubs in a lot of products, so they tend to go pretty fast. I think EA, Eric, got most of the teams, most of the Cubs. So you can yell at him if you see him in the chat. Um, anyone doing anything exciting for uh, for Thanksgiving? Anyone got anything going on? I guess if they do, they're probably not here because I think Wednesday, they say, whoever they are, they say that Wednesday is the busiest travel day of the year. Thanksgiving weekend, for, for Americans anyway, biggest travel day of the year, Wednesday. And then the Sunday after Thanksgiving is the other big travel day. Luis Gill refractor, old Gill, three ten out of four ninety nine, and there's we got an Estevan Machado for the Bluebirds. That's going to be for Mark and the Blue Jays. Got that team straight up. Nice. Right, so Michael's got a little uh, Disney World action tomorrow morning. Avoid a little bit of that travel craziness. Nice. Wander Franco, Harry Ford to four ninety nine. Jason with the Mariners and the uh, Wander Franco rookie card will go to Ed. Let's see if we can find parallels of that. There will be a number of those base cards, but parallels is really where we, what we want to see. There's Harry Ford. And we got a Kevin Kendall, 322 out of 499. Metropolitan, that'll be for Ed. Any relation to Jason Kendall? No, has a brother, Michael. I think they might spell it differently. There's a Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card for the Royals. It'll be for Steve Birch. Hedbert Perez to 250, purple chrome for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Matthew Strope. So Rex is saying there's a gold parallel of that Seiya Suzuki that we just saw. It's up to 62 with a few days left. People bullish on the Seiya Suzuki. Rex is going to his mom's, but then trying to sleep. You got to work all tonight, then Thursday night too. Now, Rex, do you do you get do a is your uh do you get a uh, more money for working on the holidays? 
like if people volunteer to work on a on a Christmas day or Thanksgiving day, do they get like time and a half or something or a little bonus or something like that? I always wonder that. I feel bad for the uh, you know the grocery store workers, especially on Thursday morning or something like that. People getting all their last minute stuff. Sometimes me. And then it's like a zoo in there. Yeah, I'd, I'd hope so too. There's a Julio Rodriguez rookie card and Willie Fanas. For the Mets, that's going to be Fred, Ed P. And the Metropolitans. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of Mets in the couple of cases I've done, so it's good to see some Mets starting to pop. And we've got a Rain Doncone, 30, uh, 39 out of 75 for my Dodgers. It's got my Dodgers. Mark with the Dodgers. Huh, Gilo had to work holidays at an old job of his. Time and a half on on those twelve hour on twelve hour shifts. Right, yeah, if they're I'm calling Hoffa. Let's uh let's 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 get him on the phone. There's Yerlin Confidan for the Reds, that'll be for Nathaniel and the Red Legs. Yeah, I call Hoff and be like, listen, why are these workers even working holidays? And if they are, let's get them time and a half. It's Paul Goldschmidt, 171 to 199. Dan with the Cardinals, with, the, uh, with your NL MVP. This is one of the bigger names that we're chasing for... Uh, in Bowman Chrome, that guy as well. Christian Vaccaro for the Nationals, Michael P. We want to find parallels, we want to find rookies of that guy. And Jason Curio for Cleveland. That's going to be for Ryan. We ever find out what happened to Jimmy Hoffa? Not sure how. Uh, not sure how accurate the Irishman was, but I suppose. I suppose you can go with that narrative. Gila works in the cloud now, and you have a Porsche like me. Yeah, your head's definitely in the clouds. With that Gila. Yeah, we got. We've got to be selling a lot more uh, Bowman Chrome cases to get to uh, to get to Porsche level. Mm -hmm. 
Fair. I shouldn't ask too many questions about Jimmy Hoffa. You're right. I should not be poking my nose into that. Otherwise, oh, I, I might be wearing concrete shoes. All right, Joe. We'll see you. you know? All right. Hey, see you, Jason. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Yeah, I don't want to be wearing concrete boots. Perfect. Thanks, man. I'll see ya. What, you do anything cool? No, I'm just... Just family stuff? My impulse is out there, so... Oh, nice. Nice, cool. All right. All right, man. See ya. I have Oh, okay. Thanks. And we got Mason Orr. Our? Our? We got Mason here. Jays. Jays? Rays. Tampa Bay Rays. Ed with Tampa Bay. We got Rosemont Verdugo to 199. That's for the Padres. That's going to go to Logan and the Friars. Now, in the movie The Godfather, when when, uh, when the family was delivered the Sicilian message where Luca Brasi's bulletproof vest and inside were some fish, Sicilian message means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. Now, if I were to sleep with the fishes, would, would a fish, would, would there be small fish wrapped inside like an open Bowman chrome pack or something like that? That's what I would imagine. You know, or like a like a like a diamond icons box or something like that. Inside will be some fish and be like Oh, and a redemption. Nick Jaspi would get this this diamond icons box with a fish inside and he'll be like Michael Corleone's like what's what's what is this? What is this? And then Clemenza, or was it Clemenza? Someone says it's a Sicilian message. It's Luca Brasi, it means Joe Jaspi sleeps with the fishes. 69.290 was asking too many questions about, about Jimmy Hoffa. 69.299, that's for the Halos, that'll be for Dennis. Right, yeah, if I opened a Bowman Chrome sealed case and the inside was just fish, what does that mean? It means uh, Fanatics slash Tops is coming after us? All right, behind Gavin Sheets, a redemption. I've not seen a redemption yet. My first, my first redemption. Bowman Chrome prospects, autograph, no parallel of... Colorado? Yeah. It's Braxton Fuller. Colorado Rockies. Rockies. Steve Birch. Got that team in the team random. All right. Third of the break done. Another two thirds to go. Do fish actually sleep? I don't know. I don't know if they sleep in the way that maybe mammals sleep. But I think they must have a, uh, a state of rest that, that you and I could consider as sleep. When I splurge on junk food, do I enjoy a Twix every now and then? No, Twix is not in my junk food rotation. If it's a chocolate-based candy, it would probably be a classic. It'd be like maybe an M&M. Like if I'm, yeah, if I'm like at an airport. 
I'll get a small bag of M &M, peanut M&Ms. We'll work on those. Or a, a bar of dark chocolate. 70% and up. That's what I'd go with. Ah, Michael P. has had to tell his daughter multiple fish of hers were just sleeping. So he could grab a replacement. Mm. There's Julio Rodriguez. Right. You want to put off the conversation about, about death for as long as possible. There's Ryan Mountcastle at a 499. Orioles, Scott, with the O's. And this is one of the bigger names that we're looking for. Yankel Fernandez for the Rockies, Steve Birch. Gilo, you've had to tell a nephew his fish went out for a walk. Did a 499 Ryan Mountcastle Orioles, Scott. Uh, and how, uh, how did your nephew take it? Was he young enough to be none the wiser? There's Junior Perez to 250. Oakland, that'll be for Steve Birch. They're coming out with a cookie dough filled Twix. Hmm. There's Drew Baker, 44 out of 50. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I like that. Doesn't that doesn't sound very good? I feel like it's just not going to be that great. The cookie dough won't be that great. It's Chad. You're, you're getting all those uh, O'Neill cruises. Roderick Arias, another one of the bigger names here too. Yankees, that's going to be for Tony. And you'll also get this Benjamin Cowles. And now, to this day, he thinks it still ran away. <laughs> There's Benjamin Cowles. Cowles? Cowles? Jonathan India, Aqua to 199 with a lava pattern. Ah, and Michael P's parents told him his animals went to the farm. It's at the farm, it's fine. Oh, he's still pretty young. Okay. I mean, what's going to happen when you realize that you were that you were lying to him? What happens if it's if he just never grasps like the complexities of the loss of life? He just thinks, no, oh, everyone just goes for a walk. I guess just run, everyone just runs away. <laughs> Manuel, what's going on? All all I need is a bag of peanut M Ms. They're real solid. When does that, when does that, 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 you know, you know, you want to preserve the innocence, innocence of youth for a little while? And what if that just spirals into, into just not being able to grasp the complexities? And it's like, wait, there's no farm? And you'd be like the matrix, your whole world kind of crumbles around you. What else have I been lied to about? Tooth fairy? M&M's has tried to get all goofy with their innards, with their insides. You don't need to do that. Stick with, stick with plain or peanut. That's it. That's all you need. I would rather have Twix work on, uh, I would rather have Twix work on the quality of, I'm not that uh, Twix is bad, but work on the or original quality of their best product. Go with that. Don't waste my time with cookie dough. Peanut butter M&Ms, what a waste. And peanut butter doesn't even taste good. I mean, it's fine, but it's just like, you really, you really don't, you know, you really don't need to do that. 
There's already a, a real peanut inside the peanut M&Ms. Nothing, Michael. There's nothing about the tooth fairy. I'm just saying, <laughs> what if someone told you that the tooth fairy wasn't real, but obviously the tooth fairy is real? Dante Williams to 499. Right, and if you want the peanut butter, yeah, right. You're going with a Reese's peanut butter cup. Absolutely. That quality peanut butter, much better than the m and Here's Dante Williams. Orioles, Scott Goodman. Now, if you wanted, if you wanted like, oh, but I like the hard candy shell, you can freeze your peanut butter cup, right? And then you've got a little crunch on the outside. It's Miguel Cabrera, green to 99. Tigers, that's going to be for Jimmy, and the Bobby Witt Jr. is going to be for the Royals. That'll be for Steve Birch. I suppose you have to appreciate these candy companies trying to, you know, trying different things, but... Ooh! A super fractor, a super bird. Estevan Machado. One of one super bird autograph for Mark Neshbauer, who bought the Blue Jays straight up, no filler. Gets the suit. Here we are just talking about candy. Bang. A super fractor, a super bird. Little Bertie Mojo. There you go. Mark. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Do the gritty g -Lo. If that was yours, I would have done it. But alas, no. You missed your opportunity yet again. There's James Triantos to four ninety nine for the Cubs. EA with the Cubs. Next box. Did that hit parade sell out? Nice. Once we're done with this, we're almost to the final third of this case. Once we're done with this, um, got about another what, 20, 25 minutes to go on this break. We'll go through some orders and we'll keep adding to the schedule. Got a green Cade Marlowe, 33 out of 99. Mariners, Jason with the M's. Got Nick York to 150, Boston Red Sox. How many of us are, uh, in the, that's watching in the chat right now, how many of you are talkers on a plane? Are you a plane talker? There's Henry Davis, former number one overall pick. 223 out of 250. Purple Shimmer for the Pirates. Chat. If it's, a, if it's like a red eye, it's night flight, you're not talking to anybody on a night. Right? You don't do that. But 
I'm going to be on an early morning flight. There's Samuel Munoz for Mark and the Dodgers. Nice. Um, but, uh, but I don't initiate talking. I don't mind being talked to. I guess, I guess depending on how interesting they are <laughs> or how attractive she is. Uh, I don't mind that, but, um, but no, I'm not initiating. Usually I'm like listening on headphones and I've made, made it clear that I do not want to be talked to. So I make that indication. No, I don't mind talking, but don't do it. Not too often. Michael's just gate to gate. You're just sleeping from gate to gate. I can do that. I've done that. The, the, the only thing that wakes me up is the tires hitting the runway. There's Yasser Mercedes. It's for the twin that's going to be uh, for Adam Harper. Let's try to look for his autographs. Yeah, Gilo's like, I hate talkers. So let me, let's let me nap. Right, Sol solo travel, right. Not to be removed. Headphones on, not to be removed. Right, that's that's solo, that's what I usually go with. Even when I'm traveling with, with, with friends, a lot of times, not talking to them. I also feel like I can never gauge volume inside a plane, I feel like, am I talking too loud or am I talking too too soft or is, people, is, is this like talking on a phone in public? Is everyone just hearing me and they're just like, we don't care what you think the best french fries are in a fast food or anything. You know? Things I, it's like, it's like a Larry David situation. It's like, I, I think what I'm talking about, it's interesting, but probably not for a lot of other people. There's an Arizona Fall League Relic card. I don't know who it is. Didn't look at the player. We'll be surprised. You don't even talk when traveling with friends. Yeah, I guess I really don't either. I guess it's like I'll talk to you when we land. There's Ronzi Contreras to $2.99. And Eric Hernandez. To 299, 211 out of 299, speckle autograph for the White Sox, Stephen Carney. And we got Pedro Pineda to 150, Atomic Parallel, Shades of Greatness, Atomic Parallel for Steve Birch and the A's. And there's Jonathan at Mejia, 112 to 250 for the Cardinals. I suppose you should probably use movie theater etiquette on a plane. I think ultimately that's what it comes down to. There'll be the occasional whisper, excuse me, can I, you know, you can kind of use, do one of those, right? Hey, what, what just happened? Maybe a quick one of those. And for, but for the most part, don't talk, don't bother me. There's Ryan Reckley for the Giants. That's going to be for Steve Birch. And that relic card coming up soon. There's a Wander. There's a Luis Rodriguez for the Dodgers to 75. These youngsters for the Dodgers might get a little more run next year. There's Spencer Torkelson. Haven't seen a lot of him. All right. And ooh, that's a cool looking patch. That's Logan Oha. What sort of, uh, it looks like some sort of animal, right? 
8 out of 25. 2021 Arizona Fall League Relic Card. Some sort of beast. Right there, you can see the eye right there, some fangs. What is that, a coyote? Is that a... Is Joe Pizzle here? Joe, Joe's in Arizona. He goes to a lot of fall, Arizona Fall League games. What team is this? Or is it the Phillies, but with just a special animal, Arizona Fall League animal on a hat? That's really cool. Phillies. Uh, that's Devin, who won the Phillies in that team random. Nice. Some sort of Razorback? Yeah. Some sort of mythical creature. Rex, you got to get out more. You haven't, you haven't been on a plane since you were 16? And there were no cell phones? Yeah, you have to have it on airplane mode, otherwise the plane crashes. Just go straight down if you if you don't have it on airplane mode. It doesn't really, but uh, I think they, they ask you to turn turn off your phone or put it into airplane mode just before takeoff, throughout the duration of the flight, and then after landing, you can, you can turn it back on. There's TJ Friedel, rookie auto for the Reds. That'll be for Nathaniel. Man, Michael remembers flying in high school and smoking on a plane. That's crazy. That's that's kind of a crazy era to think of, that, that, that you could actually smoke on a plane. People did it. Ooh, nice Jason Churio. 37 out of 125. Nice parallel here for Cleveland. Ryan Mackey with that one. Restaurants, I like in like smoking in restaurants too. It's always just, whenever you see like uh, an old movie or something like that, someone smoking in a restaurant. There's Daniel Vasquez for the Royals. That'll be for Steve Birch. Yeah, Gilo's like, yeah, we're sending people to Mars, and uh, they can't figure out airplane mode. I think it's less, I think it's just less about, I mean, I suppose there's potential interference. I feel like there, I feel like the idea is it probably won't do anything 99.9% .9 of the time, but they don't want that 0.1% of the time happening. I want to say, I did see, I 
did see a, a documentary of an air disaster in Germany, I want to say. Early 2000s, perhaps, where there was some kind of cell phone interference, either from the ground level. Might have had to do more with the cell phone towers or something like that. I don't know. That's the only thing, the only time I've I've heard that. Um, this is also uh, you, you ever go to the gas station and uh, it says don't use your cell phone next to the pump you probably use your cell phone near a pump pumping gas all the time That's true, yeah. I guess cell phones were, you know, the cell phone technology, if you had 400 people on a, on a plane using an electromagnet, probably, I feel like nowadays though, but now I feel like that rule is just bedded in. The gas station one, I want to say is that the... Think like the potential static electricity from the gas or from your cell phone to your hands out of your pocket could, and if it got in touch with a little bit of gasoline, it could, uh, it could probably ignite a fire, I think is the idea. 259 to 499 Quincy Hamilton. It's about the vapors or something like that, right? Quincy Hamilton for Steven and the Astros. Uh, do you think when we send people to Mars, they'll have to turn the... I don't think they'll get cell phones to take, Gilo. But they probably do. There's Ryan Vallad to 250. I would probably not want to use this. I mean... I feel like a spaceship hasn't been really commercially tested. I feel like I'd be a little reluctant to use a cell phone. You saw you watch someone smoke while pumping one day? That's Michael P. Uh, that that's definitely that's uh, def definitely rebel without a cause stuff. Right there, there's uh, Estanley Castillo, Michael P. filling up the old Harley. A cigarette hanging out of the corner of his mouth. Long, long stick of ash right there too. It's Bobby Wood Jr. and Jordan Walker to four ninety nine. And didn't we see one of these already? Yeah, we got a Marcelo Meyer earlier. And there's James Wood. James Wood. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. That's for the uh, Padres. That's going to go to Logan. Nice. We got two of those in one case. So maybe they're not exactly one per case, but... Definitely short, shorter printed though. Will there be cell phone towers in space? Probably not. Can you imagine the uh, the roaming fees on that if you're uh, if you're in Mars trying to place a call? Right, it's depending on, right, if you're on the way to Mars, you might only be able to use Twitter. All right, second to last box, almost there. My 
still probably telemarketer that on Mars. Like you land, you colonize Mars, and then like the next day, did you just recently move to Mars? Have we got a deal for you? Someone trying to sell you that that uh, that Mars insurance. Right, yeah, timeshares. <laughs> There's Beau Bichette, fuchsia, or pink, magenta, whatever, to two ninety nine. And Antonio Pinero for the brew crew. That'll be for Matthew and the Brewers. Um, speaking of uh, not really like scams, but um, it's Christian Hernandez to one. Anyone ever buy a star? You ever remember those commercials where you're like, you would pay this company fifty dollars, and you would buy? They would sell you a star in the sky, and they they would give you like this certificate. I think they give you a certificate. And um, they would give you the coordinates, and then it'd be like, that would be your star that you would give to, like, a grandchild or something like that. I don't know how much money they made doing that. There's Brandall, Mesquita, 47 out of 50, gold speckle autograph, Braves, Michael P. Right, you'd get those insurance calls. We <laughs> were trying to reach you about your Mars rover insurance. Most of your uh, your ex girlfriends are property owners in the galaxy. That's that's good. I always wondered, like, like th there was a, I mean. I thought it was kind of brilliant. You sell a dot in the sky, right, for 50, 60, it, it wasn't like cheap. It's not like it was like a $5 thing. This is like 50, 60 bucks, I want to say. And all it costs you is like, you just select a star and it's coordinates. They probably, they probably double sold stars. How many times do you think that company double sold a star? Tons. Has to be. Right. Selling something they don't own for something you can never get to. Right. Brilliant. You know, in like a shady cemetery, they're double selling stars. I wonder how far they got before people were just like. Yeah, but what if you wanted to get like a, an actual, well, I guess they couldn't, could they really sell like, they couldn't really sell Alpha Centauri, I suppose. A uh, previously named, named star, but yeah, it's like Pet Rock. Oh, really? It's like, I'm going to right, Rex thinks, yeah, those guys are probably selling crypto, yeah. Although, probably, probably a good time to get into crypto if there was ever a time to get into crypto. Probably could go even lower. Could wait a little bit. All right, last box. We got Juan Yepes, 58 out of 499 for the Cardinals. 
and an O'Neill Cruz and a Sedan Rafaela, a 008 out of 250. That's going to go to Mark and the Red Sox. Got an O'Neill Cruz. Got the Juan Yepes Refractor for Dan. Chad has the Pirates. And there's a Brian Acuna, another one of Ronald's brothers, 235 out of 499. He might be the youngest. Yeah, he's the youngest. Ronald Acuna Jr. and then Luis Angel for the Rangers, and then he is the youngest. Twins, that's going to be Adam Harper. There's Luis Angel, and there's Hedbert Perez, 90 out of 199. Speaking of cemeteries, Rex saw a video yesterday of a guy that found an old gravestone that said John Wick born 1855, and the death year was still a blank. He never died. There's Jordani De Los Santos for Chad and the Pirates. There's a Starling Marte, 247 out of 250, New York Mets, Ed. And that, my friends, is that. It's 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition, 12 box, pick your team number seven in the books. Here's a quick recap. A lot of nice color. Got We got two of those inserts, those short printed inserts. Got that cool relic right there. If you know what that animal is, uh, definitely next time you see me on the live stream, pop into the chat, let me know. And that, of course, that one of one, Super Fractor Auto, Super Bird. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.